locked in a Tom Kench because it's all about buying space and allowing your stars, Hansama and Larson, to shine in the team fight. And look at that last pick, the orange middle. But because of that fact, and now Fnatic resetting, it's opened up this Ocean Drake, so it'll be the first objective of the game going. Surely he just doesn't expect this self made level six. It has to be that. Okay, so there's the devour from Vanda. Gonna spit out Hellasang, and Hellasang will be going down reckless, unable. To return. They've lost the first dragon. They've conceded first blood. Now the first Rift Herald is under risk. The Hellasang's gonna turn his attention to Hunt Summer. Manages to use the portal over the wall. Call the Forge God comes out. Shockwave whiffs again. Hellasang flashes forward, does not find the cosmic binding. Underneath the tower, takes two turret shots, gets blasted one more time. Hunt Summer doesn't have the railgun available, and Hilly escapes with his life for now. Just, just walk it out. It's not worth it, Fnatic. Take the Rift Herald and say, okay. And, that the, is... and the Senna down there, but they're going to have teleports very soon, and that's going to mean Rogue can easily play for that objective. Yeah, I actually feel like Fnatic are trying to play for the teleport, potentially top lane is bot lane play. <laughs> Whippo does not care! Oh, the rest of Rogue are on the way. This is bad for Fnatic. Well, Finn manages to get taken out. Self-made goes golden for now. The rest of the squad making their way down. Teleport's coming in for Fnatic. Self-made is low, 200 HP. Manages to get a gigantic shield. The tower helps out, though. That's our apply back. The Shockwave finally... We can see Rogue on there, so that's a little less pressure, but let's see how they do for the rest of the game. Yeah, but ultimately, Rogue's goal is not just to lock... The contrast that to Vanda on his Tom Kinch, that has been hugely influential. And this was one of the significant because you're against a Sejuani and Azir, and if Finn is also able to find a flank on that Renekton, suddenly now there's... Blade Larson, if he wanted to, could base to finish off his Leandries. But he knows, even without it, they are so much stronger than Fnatic right now. Larson, he does it again. And now it's even more dire. You can see it, Fnatic knew they had messed up, the Ornn Ultimate wasn't available, we called it, they give it away. Now we're on Soul Point. Fnatic are not in form. And it still leaves us without answers. Last week, Rogue were capable of taking down G2, but couldn't pull it out. And now here's an answer. He's going to get locked down. That's a good shockwave, but there's just not enough damage. The three-man shockwave, frankly, didn't do enough. But now the momentum is there. Trevor, yeah, Fnatic's not in form, and Rogue are really as yeah. highly as Larson does. So it really helps even out their comp. Even as we turn to a monster objective like Baron, Rogue still have great threat on it. Now, Fnatic did just pick up the second tower of the game. It is three minutes until the next Drake spawns. We know Baron is available to or basically anyone, and now Larson will once again be the target. Larson is the best team fighting mid laner in the LEC right now. You have to hit him early. They failed to do that, and here they go again. I mean, goodbye, self-made. The jungler is down. Call of the Forge God comes out. Now this is a four versus five. That's Hans Summer for the comes defensively. Finn. He's taken out. Nemesis gets the man. Now it's one for one. Shockwave comes back. I think anti-synergy. I believe the Tempest Faith prevented the damage. Fnatic, though, definitely are in a good position. Vander and Finn Rogue now back away. Now, Selfme needs to grab Inspire, dunk him on Larson, and then hopefully face breaker the Azir. And hopefully, in that, the Shockwave kills Larson. Otherwise, this fight's over. Infernal Drake down to 4,000. Rogue holding on to a Glacial Prison's available for Inspire. The Fnatic group up that's going to get fired. Exhaust onto Finn. He's going to get chased down. Dragon's inside the pit. Fnatic are fighting on multiple fronts, and they've got the kill to Finn. Curse the Blast Mist have already been shot down. And now Selfme's in trouble. So is Wurpo. There's the Sand Soul just going back as Larson's on the retreat. Fnatic have won the fight! And they're chasing down Larson now, too. Hillisang's gonna shut him down. They Zero has so much value against a big, beefy, tanky frontline comps because it rattles around, because you can actually auto-attack pretty freely. Hillisang gets caught out. What was that decision? Why? Why the team fight capability? Now, show me the execution. Call of the Forge God comes out, and the Glacial Prison interrupts it. Inspired may have just saved his team's life. Larson is in a good position. He's going to use the Bellows Breath, and Larson's trying to use those Sand Soldiers. The Shockwave on Finn was frankly not enough. Now, all of a sudden, self made in trouble. Larson had a beautiful position on that fight. The entire squad of Fnatic and just let Selfmade out to dry. That is on the Infernal Soul and there is no smite. Fnatic have to fight this. Once again, we saw Fnatic tank caught out of position. Purple ulted, he was too far forward. The rest of his team punished for it. And now Rogue are going to secure the Infernal Drake, the Infernal Soul for free. Burn! Banshee Bale's a little bit worried. And here we go, Selfmade. Okay, Selfmade's gonna deliver Vanda. That will be a kill for Reckless. Now it's five apiece. Call the Forge God, knocks up Larson. Emperor's Divide buys enough time for the rest of Rogue to escape, but a man down 
And a Baron available. Hilly throws out the Tempered Fate. Angry B from Finn. Cosmic Binding needs to connect with something, and it does not. Oh, no. The damage in return. The whiff Shockwave as well. And Hillisang does Hillisang things. Oh, Selfie going in. He is indeed. Turns his attention onto Finn. He's blown up. Why? Why? The rest of Fnatic were not there. Curse Locks on the flank. Is fired down. And there comes Larson. Inspired manages to get the knock up on a Whippo. He's once again locked up and stunned by the Sichuani passive. Finn is going to force the flash from Nemesis and just... They absolutely punish them and they're once more back in control. I want to make it even more simple. Fnatic threw. They had an opportunity back into the game and they overforced and they threw it. Rogue like just outlasting them. This man has been punished. Rogue are in the advantageous position. More ultimates chucked at Rogue and it doesn't matter. Fnatic just did not connect with anything. Rogue with Baron Buff, with the Infernal Soul, and now looking to kill Hillisang as well. They are donated kills, and Rogue are playing fantastically the way Rogue have all summer long. Just stop trying to pick Larson. It is never <laughs> going to work. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, Rogue, no, Larson. They just threw 20 ultimates at the guy, and he's still like, okay, Based fine. Based on what we saw from G2 earlier today, what we're seeing from Fnatic, Right now, this Fnatic will not stand up to G2 tomorrow. A lot more needs to change. Forget that conversation, Trevor. G2 and Fnatic won't stand up to Rogue in this type of form. Yeah, but that we knew already. This time round, Rogue are looking at the Nexus. Rogue are looking to stay tied with Mad Lions. They are already booked into the playoffs. And Rogue may have faltered to G2 last week, but they did not fall to Fnatic today. All I have to say, Rogue stand on top, remember the name. Do not forget the forgotten first place team. Yeah, they fell down to G2, but it seems like they've gone back, they've reworked the tape, and they make a statement against a Fnatic. Yeah, no doubt about it. Rogue and Mad Lions are looking at the finals right now, and the old guard are faltering. Rogue destroyed Fnatic.